Hey guys, Patrice here with another video. Um, this time this is empties. I know it was like, I don't even know if it was quite a week. It's been like six or seven days or well, seven days is a week. Anyways, um, I have got through quite a lot in these, I think six days or something. It is because I am mainly melting Savannah blue and right now with Savannah blue, I don't know if it's, um, because it is my upstairs, um, I don't know if it is because the weather, it's getting warmer. Um, I don't know what it is, but it is just not preforming. Um, sorry, I'm getting kind of distracted my cat. Um, I have to pull up a chair beside me sometimes when he gets all clingy and uh, he gets it beside me and he's nudging my arm. So um, he's my old boy, he's gonna be 11 soon. So um, anyways. I don't know what's going on, but as of right now, with the odds I'm having with Savannah Blue, um, I probably wouldn't repurchase just because it's kind of 50-50. Like some stuff throws amazing and some throws, some stuff is like a dud. That's terrible odds. Uh, and I know some people still purchase from vendors when stuff doesn't throw 50% of the time or less. Um, I don't get it. Those, like I said, those are terrible odds. Uh, if somebody said you can push a button and uh, there's a 50-50 chance you'll get a million dollars or you'll die, I'll just say that. You're not going to push the button. Why would you push the button? Like, and even if you push the button once, why would you keep pushing the button? I know that's a terrible analogy, but obviously wax isn't death. You, but you get the odds. It's a terrible odds. And I, I'm just done spending my... And I'm done ordering right now anyways. I have... Like I said, I have a, a Sassy Girl Roma haul that's on the way. I have a, I'm placing a Brita's or RTS order and maybe a few loads of customs. Um, and then I'm done with that for a bit. Um, and I'll probably still purchase Ella after. I'm not purchasing as much as I used to. Um, just because I have such a large collection, I really want to work through it. So I'm doing good. I actually left the Facebook groups uh, to keep myself from being tempted. So... Get, you guys are not here to hear me jabber on maybe some of you are but for the ones that aren't they're like get to the wax well guess what guys we're not getting to the wax but yet because i have two non-empties um i have an empty of a car bar from scentsy and lavender cotton i really like this scent so i had this scent originally in a scent circle put it in my car fell in love with it got the Scentsy Fresh for my car. Then I decided, hey, I want my um, aloe water and cucumber ran out, so I replaced it with lavender cotton. I don't like it in laundry. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy, but to me in laundry, it smells very, I don't know. I just don't like it because I only use it for my bedding. So I wouldn't repurchase it again, but I did, this car bar lasted like a month or more. It's one of the better performing ones and I love it in my car. So I'm just gonna keep it in my car and not do it for laundry. And I replaced it with Bonfire Beach. It's one of my favorite scents. We'll see how that one lasts. Um, the only, I think, non-Savannah Blue thing I have here is a, a Scentsy Clamshell from my grandfather's. It is Pretty and Plaid, which is Juniper Berries, mint, Minty Fresh Wintergreen, Pine and Cranberries. He doesn't care that it's 28 degrees and I put in um, pine scents, you can't smell them anyways. This is okay. It's a pretty generic, sweet kind of tree scent. It's not my favorite. I wouldn't repurchase it. It's, like I said, it's just very meh. And I'm learning that if a scent is meh, stop buying it. Lessons learned, eh? Stuff that I wish I knew, like, a lot of money ago. <laughs> Um, I have Queen Grimhild uh, from Savannah Blue and Sugar Marshmallows and Caramel Apples. I have this going in the bedrooms right now. This is good. It's just a caramel apple scent. It is throwing. It's nice. Nothing special. Again, nothing I would need to repurchase, but it's good. It's a good caramel apple. Um, Let It Snow, Snowflakes and Cashmere with North Pole type. I love North Pole type. It's probably like my favorite mint type of scent, one of them. This is beautiful. It's beautiful. It's kind of like a perfumey mint. Like if it would be perfect in body care. 
it's an okay thrower. I know I said it's usually like hit or miss. This one is just okay. It's I can smell it, but it's nothing strong. So, but it's such a pretty scent. Um, raspberry cream, taffy, boardwalk taffy, and raspberry sugar. This was beautiful. It's a very nice body care. The scent was literally strong for three, four hours, and then it just disappeared. So, but it was beautiful. I wish I had it in body care. Um, spiked Yuletide Nog, Eggnog, Vanilla Ice Cream, Bourbon, Sugar Cookies, and Freshly Grated Cinnamon. I love this. I didn't care for it much on cold, but on warm, it was like a creamy, uh, cinnamon, kind of milky scent. Like, it was beautiful. But again, two hours, and it was gone. Strong for two hours, just disappeared, so. My boyfriend does not make comments on wax often. I don't know about anybody else's boyfriends, husbands, whatever. They He does not make comments on wax. I put the scent in. And I wasn't a big fan of it either. But I just was like, you know what? Let's just ride it out. It's throwing well. So I just wanted something to throw well. My boyfriend came out and he goes, whatever. He calls it all my wax scentsy. So he'll go, whatever scentsy scent you have going he says it smells like his exact words i'm sorry if this is weird but his exact words were it smells like rancid butt crack he goes it's it smells like there's a dirty person back there and it was a uh, root beer waffle cone float root beer waffle cone ice cream this was not good Again, I don't like to like shade anything and maybe it's just root beer, but to me it came off very like licorice, like that kind of like very, uh, he didn't like it. I didn't like it. I was going to ride it out. And after he made that comment, I said, you know what? I, I'm, I'm done torturing us. So I wouldn't repurchase that. Homecoming queen, strawberry, lavender, frosted cupcakes. Got nothing from that. Pink silhouette, pink lemonade, whip cream and graham cracker crust this is nice um i really enjoyed this one i put these in it was like a unicorn head but i only had like half of it It'd be the scent half and friend mail um i put this in the my son's bedroom in the spare room this was beautiful um i don't think i'd repurchase it from savannah blue but i would get it maybe some another pink lemonade scent i wish savannah blue performed better like i really stood up for it because the what i did try really threw at first but all this stuff just didn't. And these are all varying ages. So I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's my house. Maybe it's the weather. I don't know. So this is Sundance Linen, Clementines and Cotton Sheets. Beautiful, beautiful scent. I really, really like this one. It threw really well. Um, just a really nice fruity, or fruity um, linen scent. So... Uh, Savannah Smiles, Rainbow Sherbet, Satsuma, Pineapple, and Whipped Cream. I didn't like this. I don't know if it was the pineapple or what it was, but there was like a really... It was okay at first, but there was it, it became a really, really off-putting note at the end of it, and I took it out, so... Um, Secret Menu, Old Town Bake Shop, Hot Maple Toddy, Funnel Cake. Uh, I don't think I got anything from this her I ordered from so she had a pre-order which she which she doesn't do often she usually does RTS she had a pre-order I can't even think of when it was I don't think she labeled the date um I think it was like November last year or something and she did a lot of like old town bake shop um when I got the order and I cut it up it is it was definitely not it, it's like something changed in her formula um the wax is, her wax is normally really soft and why like I thought that it would throw really good in my house because my house does really well with softer wax. This stuff was so hard, it just crumbled, most of it. It still, some of it did hold its shape, but not, it, I don't know what happened and we asked about it, or I asked about it because my friend Tracy had the same, um, sorry, I got something in my hair, um, same kind of thing and she said no, nothing changed, so something changed. This is fried banana pudding, toasted marshmallow, funnel cake, banana wafers, and uh, 
toasted marshmallow funnel cake, banana pudding, vanilla wafers. I got nothing. Local bakery, Old Town Bake Shop, cranberry pumpkin sugar cookies. I got nothing. Um, Little House, gingerbread, glazed donuts, pie crust, zucchini bread. I This one was strong, but I didn't care for it. I just don't like certain gingerbreads. And, it, and I don't know which one's like, oh, there it is. That's the poor date from the other one. She labeled some of them. It is, I think, 11 or something, maybe. I'm just all over the place. Um, Yeah, it's hard to tell, too. Like, this, she does some gingerbreads I like and some I don't. So maybe it's just the oil she uses. But that was okay, but it was strong. Orange Julius, orange sherbet, orange juice, sugar milk, whipped cream. I got nothing. Strawberry cookies for Santa, strawberry pound cake, sugar cookie, cookie dough, and frosting. Again, I got nothing. Grandma swinging eggnog, rum, spices, and vanilla. I hated this. Oh boy, did I not like this. I'm very on the fence with eggnog scents sometimes anyways, but this one, that rum or whatever was in it, it just turned my stomach. I did not like that. Leave no crumbs. Spiced apples and peaches, pie crust, and donut shop. I don't remember. I don't remember. I, I don't think this one through either. This one through. Bite a blonde. Blonde woman bite me. I really like this. And this threw like forever. It's probably the longest throwing one I have here. Oh, so good. I love Blonde Moment. I would repurchase that if I would have re if I was going to repurchase. Autumn Grove, Slider Lane, Toasted Marshmallow, Buttercream, Sugar Cookies. Um, the first time I melted this, didn't get anything. Second time I melted this, did get some. I do have more of this, so I want to try out, but I, it's just, it was hit and miss. Donut Haven, Cinnamon Buns, Donut Shop, Old Town Bake Shop. No, this was the pour. Poured fresh in October. So it's, so with that, it's like, what, six, seven months old? So it's old enough to be cured, but not old enough to lose its scent. So if this doesn't throw, I don't know why. Yeah, I get nothing. So here's the scoop. Adam, or Adam, here's the scoop. Apple sugar in summer scoop. Um, this was good. First time I melted this, for some reason, was way stronger. But it is beautiful. I definitely get more of that apple sugar. It's definitely like a perfumey apple. But it, it's nice. Again, I probably wouldn't repurchase, but it was nice. Autumn snacks. Candy corn, pretzel, rice crispy treats. I got nothing. Apple kettle corn, kettle corn, cotton candy, Macintosh apple. This was nice. This was in the basement. A lot of these, um... Uh, bars I put in the basement because they do they have enough down there yeah this was nice it was just a nice apple scent luau punch cherry slushy blue hawaiian pina colada satsuma and cotton candy skies this was strong but there was again something about it that I just didn't care for I don't know if it's cotton candy skies or like pina colada can be very hidden mess and same as like blue hawaiian so I wouldn't repurchase that, but it's through strong. Boardwalk Vanilla Cone. Marshmallow Fluff, Vanilla Bean, and Creamy Caramel. Meh. Didn't throw. Caramel Crack Cookies. Caramel Cookie. Fruity Pebbles. Whipped Cream. Fried Ice Cream. This was nice. Not strong or anything, so. Closing time. Peaches. Peaches. Cream. And Double Cake. I got a little tiny bit of peach for like maybe two hours. Um, Vixen, Waffle Cone, Huckleberries, Creamy Vanilla, Confectionery Sugar, and Fresh Coconut. This threw really well in my basement or downstairs, I guess. Um, I really enjoyed it. It's definitely like a coconut. It's mainly coconut with just something extra, so. Anyways, not bad. Wouldn't repurchase, but not bad. And the last one up here is Spiked in Spice. Spiked eggnog, fluffy marshmallow, spice cake. This was okay. Again, eggnog's just very hit or miss. But it was okay. Again, not a repurchase, so. Guys, I'm telling you, that's a buttload of wax. That's a buttload of money for all this wax. Um, that 
unfortunately most of it just didn't throw so again um i think it was lexi here on youtube two quick wicks she put out a video on kind of like you're new to vendor wax what to kind of not do what to do <sighs> The issue is, is that we all fall into this trap where you, you buy, 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 these stuff sounds good. And then you, all of a sudden you're like, oh, I don't think I like that scent. And then you're stuck with all this wax. Like, for example, if you don't, like a lot of people fall into the Palo Santo because everybody likes Palo Santo. So you're like, oh, well, if everybody likes it, I must like it. So you buy, 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 buy. And then all of a sudden you're like, I don't think I like Palo Santo. And then you're stuck with all this or like me you get a good throw from a couple blends and you're like oh they throw really well in my house and you buy 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 and then suddenly you realize oh wait no they don't throw really well in my house so now I'm trying to melt it up anyways guys I'm not crap talking Savannah Blue I know there's a lot of people and I really wish that it it did work and there's some scents that are so strong that it would and I some of them if they do throw I might like if, if I'm ever purchasing again and she's doing like custom loads, I might order some of the ones that do throw and I really like them in custom loads. I'm not discrediting that I've never order stuff that I really enjoy that didn't throw, but I'm just not gonna keep buying since it could possibly not throw. So that's it. That's my little thing for the today the day a little De debbie downer i am <laughs> anyways the sense he threw really really well at gr my grandfather's it always does um anyways guys let me know what you've been melting um if you're watching you're not subscribed i know i people do this and i never said i would but like i think my one of my last videos got like almost 3,000 views and I only have a little over 200 subscribers so it'd be nice to kind of bump that up a little bit um if not that's fine uh just keep watching and enjoying and uh I hope to see you next one bye